game, set, match. Welcome, Welcome to, to your, your daily, daily serve of M&Ms. M&Ms. I'm Maria. I'm Michael. And uh, yeah, it's been, I'm f- not sure last time we... Oh, probably about a week and a half ago, I reckon, yeah. maybe. Okay. Yeah. Or possibly yeah. close to two weeks now, actually. Yeah, it's been a while. We missed, missed what, round two, I think, of the footy. Probably. Um, so th- round three's just passed. Um, it is also the 2nd of April. Um, so hopefully everyone got your April Fool's in April Fool's jokes in. Um, <laughs> and yeah, did you see what Duolingo post? They mm. posted like a Duolingo on ice thing. Okay. <laughs> like four hours and no intermissions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah. That's what um, they did. So yeah. Uh, we've got a few drinks happening because we've got a drinking game segment. Yeah. Um, we've got a... I don't know if we've ever done this segment, but it's <clears> sort <throat> of... A, if we haven't, it's a new segment. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> um, oh, why would you do that? Oh. Um, and it's called the three-word game. Um, basically, we will describe... AFL footy games in three words. Um, and then and the other person have to guess it? No, it's just, it's not necessarily a, a guessing game. It's just a fun, describe it game. Maybe a bit of a roasting session as well. Okay. <laughs> if you really want to. Um, but yeah. Um, Can it be from any round? I was going to do it just for round three. Okay. But I know if what I'm going to say, you're going to understand it, so. Yeah, that's fine. That's what we're meant. <laughs> it's like, not... Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's a game. fine. It's not a game. It's just a three-word segment. <laughs> okay, cool. So do you want to go first? Do you want to do that or do you want to do some news? You want to do, do this thing We're first. kind of free-balling, winging this a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm a little sick. A little bit. So, what do you want to do? The three-word game. Three-word game? Okay, cool. So, do you want me to start? Sure. All right. So, I just want to check out the game. Oh, yeah. First game was Collingwood and Brisbane. So... And what, so I'll describe it in three words. Okay. All right. My three word for Brisbane versus Collingwood is, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't remember his name. Can't remember his name. I've literally drawn a blank. What's his? Wait, who are we talking about? Head coach. What's his name? For who? Co- uh, the, no, Collingwood, the other one. Carlton? No, Brisbane, Brisbane. Vague. Fagan. Fagan. Okay. Um... <laughs> Sorry, that really... Are we better at this as we get keep, progress through it? Sorry. Um, you better. Fa- F- Fagan uh, fails again. <laughs> okay. Uh, why do I... And now I'm just going to give like a little reasoning why I've given him the three words. So Fagan fails again uh, because I am still yet to see Chris Fagan make an adjustment at half time. Have you with that one? <laughs> yeah, so I'm still trying to find my game, actually. Well, we'll do... We'll try and get through all the games on round... Th- through no, round three. No, no, no. no, you don't want to do all games? <clears throat> no, this is not... This is not from round... Oh, okay. I can't find the game, though. Do you need the AFL app? That's what I'm looking at. Okay. <laughs> I just can't find it. (laughs) But I feel like if I say this, you'll know what I mean. Okay. But if I go to records... (laughs) Nah. It's all good. What is is this? This is a new segment, and... I was trying to describe it all week, and I feel like it's a really, really, really simple, like, concept, but maybe I just couldn't explain it very well, and 
Oh, I think no. Marie's only just catching on to what it is. I think they got rid of it. What one? Half marathon. <laughs> Half marathon. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. That was this week, wasn't it? Was it? That was last week. When Patty Chris ran, ran like yeah, no, two kilometers. Yeah, hang on. Do you go players? Is that how you do it? Track. Oh, tracker. So, da 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 da. No, I'm pretty sure it was for. Again, I don't think it was quite right. If we go back one more. Who did he play for again? I've already forgotten. Carlton. Carlton. Oh, they had to buy that one. Yeah, I can't find it. I remember seeing it. It was on the app. And it was, was not on the app. I remember it was on um, Goranger's thing. Yeah, that too. Dan does footy. No, it's just not there anymore. It's probably because like, the tracker was wrong. Like 22Ks is a... <laughs> That's one hell of a, a job. Right. It's a whole lot of running. Are we sure it wasn't like opening round or something? I think it had to be against Richmond though. Wait, what? But I'm not seeing it here. I'm having a look at this. That's kind of... Oh no, whoops, wrong one. This one. Tracker. Okay. You good? I'm really sad I can't find it. It was there. It was there. Do you want to do yours for North Melbourne and <clears throat> Carlton? I'm going to do for Bulldogs. And West Coast. And West Coast, yeah? Yes, I'm going to say... Um, how, do you, how do you describe that game in three words? What was it? A practice match. A practice match? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it happened again and it happened again yeah what's that meant to mean well you know this is the second week in a row where Darcy uh, Sam Darcy has kicked a goal while a fight has happened on field oh <laughs> <laughs> so we're fighting and he's kicking goals it's like okay well you know <laughs> See, I like that. Game I, on, I guess. I like that three word description. It happened again. Why do you give it that? <laughs> you kicked a goal when that was a How often does that happen? I've never seen that in my life until last week. And the week before. Oh, yeah, the week before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, good. Did you want to do any others? No, that's it. No, those are the only ones you want to do? All right. I'm happy. There must be like a better sort of gameplay just to kick goals while everyone's fighting yeah yeah well i mean you're from the west you might as well live up to your (laughs) reputation right (laughs) you look crazy but yeah anyways all right well we'll leave it there for that segment Mm -hmm. um but yeah let us know if you like this segment if you'd like us to do more games like that um (laughs) where we just roast teams that that was a great roast (laughs) yes so can we talk about some stuff yeah, that's the point of the podcast. Yeah, I yeah, know, I know. <laughs> but so I've just been on my on my like TikTok, I've been seeing a lot of like women's college basketball. Yep. I've been seeing a lot of that on my page. Oh, sorry, who's that's the, a good drink. Who's the girl? Who's the, what's her name? Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. She seems great. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm not a big basketball fan, but I'm watching all these sort of stuff on my TikTok. It's like, women's basketball seems kind of good, fam. And I think I just like women's... When, okay, like when I say I like women's footy, like like when I say I like women's sport, I'm not saying that women are better than men. I'm just saying I like it better. Do you know what I mean? I feel like people no, I get, get the two confused. Um, I just tend to like women's sports better for some reason. Mm. I just find it more exciting. I feel like that it's gone to a point where I feel like with a, with a, a lot of men's sport, it's sort of plateaued a bit. Do you know what I mean? 
when you say plateau, do you mean like peaked? <laughs> yeah, but like it hasn't gotten any better, right? It's not. There's no. Well, it's hard to get better when it like you're all prime athletes, right? Like. Yeah, I know, but I'm just <laughs> saying that there's a, there there's just come a time and a place where where stuff just sort of doesn't get better, and I feel like you're seeing this with like a lot of men's sport right now. And because now there's more women's sport, it's sort of rising quickly. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I, I guess. Uh, um, do you understand what I'm trying to say? No, I get like, it. it's not the men's fault, right? The, the human body can, can do what it can do. No, I get you. And I feel like, look, there are... And you sort of have to innovate it in a different way to make it more... Like, at the same time, right? Like... There are some, like, I think the reason that we, like, want to watch a lot of men's sports is because there's always players who dominate, right? Like, Tom Brady for the NFL. Like, he is easily the greatest quarterback. (coughs) Greatest. There there is no one better. Granted, he couldn't run for shit. (laughs) Like, he ran a 40-yard dash in, like, five and a half seconds, right? Like... How long is that in uh, meters? That's like probably 35, 36 meters. Oh, uh, okay. Right, like five seconds, like, it's not that great. <laughs> Talk about speed. What? <laughs> Talk about speed. Me? Yeah, speed. Remember that video? The F, I got it wrong. Oh, okay. It'd be the 82 kilometer. Yeah, speed. who was yeah. that? It was a Richmond player, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a Richmond player. I was like, okay, was, cool. Was it Taranto? I can't. So I don't know, I forgot. Yeah, I can't remember who it was, but Gorange had it. That's the same video that had. Do you want me to play the video? I'll play it's, the video. What's I'm the video gonna, that's got. I'm just was gonna it Cripper play... for 22k or something? Yeah, yeah, so I'm just going to play the video for you. <laughs> if I can find it. It's going to come through an iPhone as well. Um. Maybe if Maria can figure out how to edit the footage into the... Not the footage, but like the audio of oh, the yeah, footage this into one, this the one, thing. This one, this one, this one, this one, Here we go. Last a couple of huge efforts over the weekend by two players, which I would love to acknowledge. Not only is he in form, he's deciding to run half marathons during a game of footy. So Cripper ran his first half marathon and he got to 22 kilometres in a game. It's just... If there's one thing I know about Cripper, he loves running long distances. <laughs> and Jack Ross officially became the world's quickest man, which hasn't been reported at all this week. So congratulations to you, mate. It's a great effort. You got to speeds of 82 and a half kilometres on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some people, so one of the comments was like, he runs faster than my Hyundai gets <laughs> and stuff Ooh. like that. And I'm just like, okay. oh, so funny. I'm just like, that's too funny. Lol. I wonder if it's... Oh, okay. It must be in, like, these as well. Total distances, max speeds, and so on. I wonder if you can do it for... Oh. But, yeah. So, it'd have to be... Can you do... Oh, so that's... Da, 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 da. But yeah, just, yeah, just, that was just kind of funny. It was kind of funny. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> What's the same? Do you want to go, do you want to try to run 80 kilometers per hour tomorrow? Ah, uh, yeah, naturally. Yeah, nice. Yep, just, ha- um, tie my hands to the, uh, the tow ball of the, uh, of the truck and get it up to, you know, 100 k's and I'll catch up to you on the freeway, right? Nice. Do you have any, uh, news? Any news? <gasps> of course I have news. I've kind of got, I've kind of got crap news to be honest. <laughs> Lol. Um, but I'll give you the real news and then I'll give you the garbage later. Um, cause that's, that's my style. So, um, as we're all aware, we, oh, sorry, actually before we get onto that, cause we kind of got a bit sidetracked, um, the Caitlin Clark thing. So I agree. I think like. You know what the crazy thing is? Like, can I say what I said to you this morning about Caitlin Clark? How some of the people with yeah, their comments. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, shall I do yeah, that? Yeah, do it. Okay. So, like, there are people, like, there are blokes out there that are just like, 
oh, Caitlin Clark, she, she looks so horrible, man. Like, you know, like, she looks like a man and all that sort of, <laughs> sort of stuff. <coughs> but, like, they're, li- they're literally making the comments from the game photos. Do you know what I mean? Like, like if you actually see her... Like, like these no girls... No one looks are... nice in action photos. Let's be honest. Everyone looks... Well, not only that, they're not wearing makeup, right? No, but that doesn't even matter, right? It's just, like, no one looks flattering in an action photo. I know, but, like, you don't... Like, with makeup, you normally have, like, the eyes that are highlighted with all the shit. I don't know, whatever the hell goes on. Do you know what I mean? But, like, you don't attach fake eyelashes to your, to your eyes during a game. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, that's just not what you do. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> and, anyways, it's like, can you guys actually just Google Caitlin Clark and look at a non-action shot of her? Because she's... She's not, you know, she's not ugly, right? Like, she's really not. <laughs> um, but, like, even from what I've seen, like... But, like, the other the thing that I don't get is that, like, you know, you find men and when they don't like women's sport, they always talk about how ugly people are. Yeah. But, like, I, you don't hear the same for when they watch men's spot do you know what i mean i know like at the same time like i'm not gonna i don't watch afl players and judge them on their appearance because well i'm straight right um and i'm boring like that um (laughs) but like i just i just don't get it it's like why do you like i don't think even women do that when they're watching men's sport no, I, I wouldn't expect them to either. To right? be honest, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just sort of an odd thing to say. Like, you just say you don't like women's sport, you don't have to go attacking people. Mm. Just say you don't like it. It's that simple. Like, it's not that deep, fam. Like, honestly, like, I'm ha- I'm happy to say that I don't like basketball. of any Like, men's or women's, right? Like, I just find it boring. Ball up one end. Cool. They score. Ball comes down the other end. They score. It's, it's basically watching tennis without the rackets. <laughs> Like, <coughs> um, like you know what I mean? It's like it's like you don't have to. Like it's not that deep. Yeah, and like look, from when I've watched men's basketball and watching like women's basketball, mainly just the Caitlin Clark highlights, the men are faster, right? Well, naturally, and, and, and just that, biologically, like, they tend like, to like, be faster. And exactly, right? They like you on eighty kilometers per hour. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like that, you know. Like it's obvious to see that. The men are probably like just overall stronger, faster, and you can see it, right? Like it, it, we can't deny it. You can see it, right? But I've seen Caitlin Clark, Clark play. She's fucking good, right? Like remember when you used to watch like college basketball for the women's, and they used it used to be so dull. No one, I never no one, have. No one scored three three pointers, right? They'd all shoot and miss. It was really bad. Caitlin Clark is like a guaranteed three pointer. Like, easy. I feel like back in the day, I used to watch the women's basketball team for the Olympics, but I never watched the men's. <laughs> you sexist. Just because they had, <laughs> what was it, Lauren Jackson? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's Like, right. that's the only reason. Right, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, I think I've always, like, I don't find anything appealing about men's basketball, but that's just a me thing, right? And I feel like. You know, like, you don't have to like women's sport, but you don't have to be rude about it. Like, honestly. Like, just say you don't like it. You don't have to, like... I don't understand why people make it out to be, like, oh, it's so bad, though. Like, yeah. Like, you don't, being, like it's, it's like people that go to comedy shows and, like, roast the comedians. It's like, if you don't like the comedy, don't go to the comedy show. Leave. <laughs> it's just... Just leave, right? It's like it's the same thing, right? It's like if you don't w- like watching women's basketball, that's fine. Just don't in- don't watch it. <laughs> like, and then people comment on it, on it, and it's just like you realize if you comment on it, the algorithm's going to give you more of that content, right? Really? Fair enough. Yeah. So it's like just scroll past and say not interested, right? Like, like I don't honestly, make, it's not that. Like, use your brain a little bit, please. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of... Honestly. <laughs> Anyways, do you want to get another second? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give my news. I'll give my news. But yeah, okay. like, like I have to give credit where credit's due, though, right? Caitlin Clark is good. 
Yeah. Like, like it's not even like, you can't even argue it. She's good, right? Would she probably get swallowed up in the men's basketball? Yeah, Pro- but, but I don't almost think you should but, have, but I don't think it's a comparison but, you should make, to be honest, because it's in, different. Exactly. No, I, I, I agree. I don't think you can make a comparison, right? It's like when people keep comparing Taylor Swift and like uh, Beyonce, I was like, why are you comparing these two people? <laughs> They're different. Yeah, like different honestly. sort of performers. Like, there's nothing. Like, so just stop comparing people and things, man. Like, it's just don't. Like, I'm happy. Like, I think probably the only thing that you could compare is like sp- the actual compare sport. the market. Compare the market. Yeah, <laughs> is compare like the sports and the games themselves, right? Like, it's fair to compare West Coast as a team to like. The Bulldogs, right? Yeah, yeah. West Coast are a garbage team. They stink. But people compare anything with everything. And I'm just like... Hey, yeah, no, no there's only... doing that. There's only certain... Yeah, exactly. Like, you can't um, compare everything, right? Taylor Swift is better than Beyonce. But it's like, at the same time, they have different demographics, right? Like, I like stop it. I know, it's like, at the end of the day, what do you want me to do? You're going to compare me versus Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is making bank compared to me. <laughs> making bank compared to everyone, fam. Like, honestly, it's not even close. It's It's... So, anyways, um, but yeah, let's uh, let's dive into the latest action from MLB um, and uh, some softball news as well. While we're at it, since they're both kind of similar, but I'm not going to compare them because uh, they're not the same thing. Really not. They're really not. So first up in MLB, uh, Corbin Corbin Burns uh, made an electrifying debut for his new team in Baltimore, um, raking up a stunning. 11 strikeouts. Like, 11. 11. That's crazy. Nice. I think it was over six innings as well. Just demolished the others. It's just so good. Um, so, yeah. Corbin Burns, legit. I, I've always liked him as a pitcher. Just the cutter he throws. It's, it's such a great pitch. It's so good to be throwing cutters. Um, bring back the cutter. <laughs> Bring back the dribble kick. <laughs> Bring back the dribble kick. <laughs> um, Burns showcased his dominant form, setting the tone for what looks to be an exciting season ahead. Um, over in the over in Los Angeles, the Dodgers trio of Mookie Betts, Shohei Otani, and Freddie Freeman um, put on a masterclass performance. Um, they are just run scoring machines, like lead off Mookie Betts. Um, in the two hole, you've got uh, Shohei, and then uh, basically your clean up is Freddie Freeman. Like, it's just you score runs. They they hit first game they played, which was over in um, it was part of the Seoul series where they were playing in South Korea, and like they literally just went bang bang bang. Lead off, scored a run. Nice. Like the advantage. Like I don't think. Like a lot of people don't know it. The biggest stat in winning baseball games is scoring first, right? You score in the first inning, and you keep them sh- like out. You're pretty much guaranteed to win the game like eighty percent of the time. Well, that would make sense. It makes sense, right? Like you already got the advantage, right? <laughs> So like it's the, it's just such a great feature to have three competent batters who can just score. <laughs> like you don't even have to think about it. It's crazy how good it is. Um, so yeah, uh, their combined efforts led the Dodgers to a commanding victory, uh, and I believe currently they are three and two. It's early days in the season. They're gonna get a shit ton of wins. They're gonna go like. I don't know, 60 and 50... No, sorry, not 60. They'll probably go, like, a whole, like, 90 and... 90 wins, <coughs> 50 losses or something like that. Like, it, it won't even be funny. Um, they will just destroy the others. Um, where was I? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yep. So, uh, they're solidifying their status as a force to be reckoned with in the league. Meanwhile, in New York, Aaron Judge, uh, Juan Soto, and Giancarlo Stanton, and other key players from the Yankees, 
um, are putting on stellar performances with a hint at, poten- at a potential World Series run. Uh, the star started lineup. Uh, are firing on all cylinders. They're in a very similar situation to LA. They've got three guys that can basically just smash the ball everywhere. <laughs> nice. So um, they're currently five and zero on the season. Um, yeah, it looks again. It's all early days, but um, yeah, everything is looking really, really good for both these teams. But we kind of expect that they're. It's the Yankees and the Dodgers. They're like the biggest names in the MLB <laughs> franchise, right? Yep. Um, so, yeah, that's um, that that's my news for baseball. Um, as far as um, as far as NCAA, we'll shift gears there. Uh, take a look at the latest rankings in Division One softball. Um, Oklahoma continues to reign supreme at the top spot, uh, showcasing their dominance in the collegiate softball landscape. Texas follows closely behind at number two, um, poised to challenge Oklahoma for the top position. Georgia holds strong at number three, maintaining their impressive form as they look to climb higher in the rankings. Tennessee makes a significant jump to claim the number... Four spot. Um, Duke rounds out the top five, um, demonstrating their resilience and skill on the softball diamond. And then rounding out the top ten, we have Stanford, LSU, Washington, Florida, and Oklahoma State. Um, And each of these teams clearly... uh, deserving of recognition as they strive for success in the competition world of NCAA Division One softball. So, yeah, that is my news so far. <coughs> nice. Did you have any news you wanted to share, babe? Uh, yeah, well, you know, as, you know, Bulldogs won against uh, West Coast. GD easy. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of was. Yeah. I mean, West Coast had two quarters. Two quarters where they didn't score a goal. Not one. They kept kicking behind, didn't they? Or was that mm. another team that I was watching? Was that... No, I think there's... Was that Saints? Yeah, it might have been Saints. Oh, okay, I think I got that confused. I know Hawthorne did the same thing in the fourth quarter. That's they just funny. kept smacking behind. So it was crazy. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, like we like we won. It was nothing really special. Like it was nothing. We kind of figured really it was point. really just a matter of was were the Bulldogs <laughs> going to cover the line or not, and they did. They did. Yeah, <laughs> they did. Oh, uh, what was the line? Uh, fifty-four and a half points, and they got seventy-six. Um, I would have given them the points, but I totally forgot that West Coast beat them last year, and that was the reason that Bulldogs didn't make finals. Yeah, but I had to figure, right? So, the last three games, we had to win two of the three, and they were against West Coast, Hawthorne, Hawthorne and, and Geelong. Geelong. At Geelong. And for some reason, we lost the two easy games, but won against Geelong at Geelong. Yeah. <laughs> like, it makes sense, fam. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Like, you win... Like, like we expected to win the first two and then lose to Geelong at Geelong, right? Because, like, you know, it's Geelong at Geelong. But that's the game we win. Yeah. Well, you got to conserve your energy against no. the No. <laughs> you have to make it. You have to make it. You can't just play with fire, fam. Oh, so like, like, I'm not, no, not doing it for a second in a row waiting for a team to lose just so we can make it. Like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. You don't deserve to be in the top eight if you need a team to lose for you to be there. Like, honestly. <clears throat> At least it was like a relaxing final season for me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not ready to be in the finals. It was this super, season. it was super relaxing for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not like I'm not ready to be in the finals, but I'm happy to see us in the top eight. I was just hoping last year. I was just hoping Essendon would cover the line against Collingwood, and they didn't. They they really blew it. <laughs> but yeah, um, another segment. Sh- sure. You got any other news, or is that it? No, that's it. That's it? Alright, what do you want to do? Do you want to do the drinking game? Okay. Alright, we're going to do the drinking game. Okay, first. 
22k run. You wanna do it? <laughs> no, that's not what I want. Okay, so this is Bulldogs v West Coast. Mm hmm. I want you to tell me how many behinds West Coast got. Well, we, they only got 30 points, so I'm kind of going to guess that they had four goals and six behinds. So I'm going to go six. 12. <gasps> really? Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh, That's so they six did. That's drinks for you, fam. Oh, shit. <laughs> One, two. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> you really messed it up. Bitch. <laughs> I thought it'd be easy. You know, because they obviously didn't kick a lot of goals. Yeah, I figured that, because I only got to 30. <laughs> like, you can only kick, at most, five goals to land on 30, right? If you kick more than that, you've kicked over 30. <laughs> Unfortunately, you were asking for behinds, not goals, so... Yeah, mix it up, fam. Keep it interesting, not, you know, obvious. Well, if that's gonna, how it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to do the Edmonton Oilers. <clears throat> oh, shit, that's not what I want. Edmonton Oilers taking on... Uh, the Anaheim Ducks. Okay. The game was played on Sunday, our time. Edmonton won. How many goals did they win by? Three. The correct answer is five. <laughs> this is only two sips. Yeah. I'm still winning. No, I've still got three to do. There's one. Two. Oh, easy. Three. Pretty easy, fam. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so today, if it ever loads, Penguins played the New York Rangers. How many goals did Pittsburgh get? The Rangers. Rangers are in as well. Are they? Yeah. Okay. In fact, there are, there's currently seven teams that have all claimed... Um, playoff berths. And none of them are the penguins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need everyone to have like a drug scandal for us to, to make it. <laughs> that's a lot. Of, that's a miracle. <laughs> Measles, I don't know. <coughs> COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> Whooping cough, Ebola, I don't know. Um, I feel like I saw it was... No, I, I saw the other game. Penguins and was it the Kings that you played? Yeah. Where well, that was 4-3, I think. I'm talking about Rangers, fam. I'm not helping you. I know. How many goals did you score? Is that what you asked? Yes. Penguins scored one. Five. Really? Did we you win? them 5-2, yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's a bit of a surprise. I really had you guys losing that one. Alright. I love living in ignorance bliss. It's great here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, maybe. Nah, nah, too far. Alright, this one's gonna hurt. I uh, imagine you're having drinks here. You ready? On Friday, North Melbourne played Carlton. Did Crip do like a half marathon? Yeah. Okay. 
I will maybe help you out. No, don't do that. But how many goals did Carlton score against North Melbourne? Twelve? Fifteen. Fifteen, fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Do you, do you remember what the score was? No idea. I'm assuming it's high. It was 81 North Melbourne to 137 Carlton. 187? No, 81 to 137. 37, 37. I'm going to go 15. No, hold on. What did Bulldogs get? I forgot. I'm going to go 17. The correct answer is 21. That's not too bad. I still win. So that's four? Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure you own, Yeah, I only have four. I could have been mean and told you to take six. <laughs> did it. How many did I have to take? Oh, I have four. four. So that's two. Yeah. Three. Mm. You good there? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just burpy. You burpy boy. Four. All right. Are we done with the drinking game segment? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. How'd you guys go? Did you guys get shit faced? <laughs> You're doing shots, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you guys doing a George? <laughs> no, don't do that. That is horrendous. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Anyways, cool. yeah. You... What were you going to say? Do you have any news? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you the same thing as me. Sort of, sort of. It's all, it's all in our chat of what was podcast worthy. Um, so okay, this is kind of a bit... Can we do like four each or on each. Instagram? Yeah, sure. I think the one that we need to talk about, we need to talk about, I'm going to get you to talk about it, is okay. that. <clears throat> it, okay. Take so it away. It's you... AFL Confirms Best of Free. Free. <laughs> best <laughs> so of Free. Best of... <laughs> best Things in Life are... <laughs> Free. <laughs> so, so AFL confirm is best of three uh, grand final series. The AFL is implementing a best of three grand final series in 2025. So next year. Yeah, it won't be. So it's not this year, but next year. Mm. Best of three series. I mean, they could. They implemented concussion uh, sub like a week before the season started. So I don't see why they couldn't implement it this season. AFL can do what the hell they want, apparently. Mm. But yeah, um, yeah, certainly for, well, I know you don't like it, and to some extent I get it, like... Do you know what change I'd make to the AFL? What? Have all of the, like, last round games played at the same time. Oh, like, like, round 24? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Keep people guessing. Yeah, oath. Absolutely. Like, in the NFL they do something similar but they will do they'll find one game where it's it's like winner takes all to get into the playoffs so it kind of adds that it almost adds like a pre-playoff element to it yeah (laughs) which like it makes but the nfl is also structured differently we have in the nfl there's two conferences and the conferences have four divisions each right (laughs) we just have one ladder (laughs) yeah (laughs) so like I agree. I think all the games should be played all at once at the same time. Mm. Like like you say, it keeps people guessing. Um, or at the very least, maybe having two blocks. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I get that people also want to watch footy, like Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday Arvo sort of shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. So like, you kind of want to have primetime games, but all the others certainly... At least do, maybe you could do like a Friday night prime time and then everything else same time Saturday, Arvo, with one remaining in no, the evening. No, it's all the same day. Like the, like the EPL does. I like that. Yeah. I know, I'm a bit conflicted on it because I do like watching 
as many games as I, uh, as I no, can. No, that's like the last game of this uh, last round of the season. Yeah, right? no, exactly. And uh, twenty four rounds, time. it's not yeah. like it's not like you're missing out on much, right? No, I feel like at the end of the, t- um, the other day, the last round, do you want to see if your team made it or not? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, if your team is in yeah, exactly, if you're exactly. Like the you West don't... Coast, it doesn't really matter. I know exactly. Like, you'd be watching your team, but like, if like for the people that have their teams already, like like Essendon last year, they were knocked out like five rounds before the end of the season, right? It's like ah, oh. Bulldogs like to make you give a like to give you heart attacks. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. But so, like, uh, who would I watch then? Do you know what I mean? Like Bulldogs, by default, because have... because you're with me. Yeah, exactly. By default, but like, imagine Bulldogs and Essendon. Uh, like the, they're contenders for the wooden spoon, basically. <laughs> Not this season, anyways. So I wanna like this isn't really news. It is. It is news, but I just wanna. But I I'm just saying this for the typo that they made in this post. Oh, yeah. So well, Rider Sport said Stonis Harris Nisa and Agar left off off cricket Australia contract list. Yeah. I think they meant to say, um, of of. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, then they made a, they made a typo. <laughs> this is this is my, this is basically my application as to why I should be on the on the team and not whoever made that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should be the primary reporter, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that, that's never happening on my watch, fam. <laughs> I'm gonna do a bit of a quick fire round. Uh. Portlington ended 68 game losing streak with their first senior victory since two, since 2018 on Good Friday. <laughs> and that's just nice. Uh, Fremantle uh, never misses fi- has never missed finals when starting three and zero. And they are currently three and zero. Yes, and that is all the news I have. It's all the news you've got. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um. So I sent a few things through. Um. A little Dan, like Dan, does, Dan does Dan does for you. He's, Daniel Gorringe is great though. He's the friend we all wish we had. <laughs> he really Honestly. is. Yeah. Um, yeah, he basically. I don't, if you follow him on Instagram or TikTok, I guess because he yeah, probably I has one. Him on TikTok. Yeah, uh, I follow him on Insta. Um, Insta. Insta's better than TikTok. Changed my mind. Um, <laughs> TikTok is better than Instagram. <laughs> um, yeah, during the Geelong Hawks clash. Um, he basically put two posts out. First one saying "Hawk season summed up part one. And that was the one where, um, oh, what was his name? What's his name? So I missed an, an easy goal, pretty much. Yeah, no. Well, there was Gunston. <coughs> Not Gunston. Who's, who else is in that lineup for Hawthorne? I can't remember. Oh, actually, I can look it up. I can look it up. I will... Get those names exactly right, perfectly right. I don't even have to think about it. Lineups, Hawks, uh, forwards. Oh, it was Bruce. That's it. Yeah. So, uh, Brucey, um, they like had like a set shot on goal. Like he could either chip it in over the top to whoever was up. Um, full forward, it might have been Lewis, I can't quite remember. Um, and, or he could have like run it in himself. It was so clear as, it, it almost felt like a certain goal. And, uh, basically Geelong got the ball and scored their own goal. And Hawthorne got nothing out of it. Nice. <laughs> so that was, uh, Haw- Hawthorne season summed up part one. And then part two was, I can't remember who was that. Trying to score a goal. It might have been Ginevan, I think. Can't quite remember. Let's see if it... Ginevan wears long sleeves. Hang on. Who was that? Who was that? It's right here. It's right here. Who's 34? 34. Are they wearing long sleeves? No, they're not. No, it's not Ginevan. Okay. 34, Watson. That's who it was. Um, yeah, Nick Watson. Uh, missed a goal from point blank range. Uh, like literally inside the goal square, bang straight across the face. It was almost hysterical. Um, and then Daniel Gorin said, "Hawk season summed up part two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, do you have some news from Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Harvey Gallagher is a, has been a rising star nominee for the Bulldogs. So. Oh yeah, yeah. 
So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And by the way, just also more news. The Hawthorne Geelong game that was played literally yesterday. Um, the game had to be postponed at the third quarter interchange. Because of lightning. Nice. So the game was literally called off for probably a good, like, 40 minutes or something. It was crazy. Like, just... Uh, I like it when that happens. Like, remember last year with the Brisbane Power? Oh, the light, out yeah. the lighting outage? That was, that was great. <laughs> it wasn't a, it wasn't just light outage, though, was it? Like, the, the things caught on fire, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. That was hilarious. They had to call the fire brigade. <laughs> That's too funny. By the time they got there, they're like, "Yeah, the fire's out. There's nothing we can do." <laughs> oh goodness, that was classic. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dendo's footy is great. Um, he, is, I, I, it's great. So yeah, uh, for those who. Um, I know, I saw this on John Boy's um, incident feed, how the Cubs um, try to do like a pyrotechnic display for their home opener introductions for the players, and it was almost kind of funny because, um, yeah, the pyrotechnics that they had for them, it was probably the saddest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Just they had like two little flare boxes that just went. And that was it. <laughs> it was so bad. Um, yeah, if you don't know what I'm referring to, go check out uh, John Boy's John Boy Media on Instagram. Um, it is great. And another classic was Edmonton lost, unfortunately, today to the uh, St. Louis Blues, three to two. Um, and because it was today for us, but you know, in Canada, US time, um, it was April 1st, Edmonton Oilers Instagram page, they put a post out saying, let's pretend tonight was an elaborate April Fool's joke. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) For the record, they also lost in overtime as well. (laughs) Oh, awesome then. (laughs) So yeah, (laughs) it was kind of, it was quite amusing. Um, Anyways, my last little feature bit of news, which I think is really, really awesome, um, is so Scott Pendlebury, uh, midfielder from Collingwood. He has a basketball background, fam. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he does. And that's why his basketball background helped him out to... Honestly. Whack Lucky Neil in the guts the other yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, that's a, <laughs> such an inside joke with all the AFL fans. Yeah. So, um, anyways, so Scotty Pendlebury, this is really, really amazing. Scott Pendlebury is only 29 disposals away from becoming the first player in VFL slash AFL history to reach 10 thousand disposals gg easy there's a basketball background that's why true that's right that's incredible that's incredible ten thousand ten thousand that's psycho i I love it i really do love that like i i'm honestly rooting for collingwood this weekend can i mainly for scotty penelbury can i give you an interesting fact as much as i hate collingwood i really do like scott penelbury he's a he's a Class act. He has a basketball background, that's why. True. Can I, can I give you an interesting fact? Sure. According to AFL Central, teams that won the coin toss in round three all won their matchups. It's fucking rigged coins. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do the last segment? Um, sure, why not? What's our last segment again? I, I don't can't... even know. Fuck, you're meant to be on top of this, babe. No, you're the one that said to be on top of this. Hang punishment on, game. Oh, the punishment game. Woo! Bring back the punishments. So I do have a game, a match. Sorry, I have a tournament this weekend. She does. So I'm not doing any harsh punishments. Okay. This week. So, yeah. Um, 
you may remember our punishment game that we used to do. Um, we figure we're going to be a little bit more... Um, we're going to be a little bit more... Um, I guess reasonable with our the way the segment's going to run. Just for the meantime, right? Um, until, you know, Sports Bear sponsor us. Or Ned's sponsor us. <laughs> or oh, anyone. Sponsor or anyone. Us. Yeti. Um, or not, not, not Yeti, Blue, the people that make the Yeti that we're using to record this thing. Oh, you know, anyone that makes multivitamins, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Technofiber, you know, you, you know, we're just throwing your name out there. Nike. Nike, yeah, we're throwing your name out there as well. Um, Western Bulldogs, sponsor us. Yeah, Western Bulldogs, Mission, Mission Wraps. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> So yeah, um, Ooh, until someone. I'd love a food sponsor. Monster. <laughs> <laughs> anyone that sells the PlayStation. Uh, any, <laughs> anyone that sells the little gel things. Because everyone knows what you're talking about. Now. <laughs> well, like you know, the test players have the little gel things and little gel pouches. Yeah, we. I get you now, but yeah. Whatever they are, yeah. Whoever, starts spon- whoever sponsors us to make us money for this podcast, um, we will love you forever. Yeah, we will, and we will make our segments better. Um, so yeah, but until then, until then, until one of you, you, you awesome people, sponsor people, um, <laughs> decides to you know sponsor us and help us out with <clears throat> some financialness. Um, <laughs> We're going to basically choose, um, I guess, in a collective fashion, what our punishment should be, right? Yeah. I think it would only be fitting this week to choose... I know you're going to choose, like, a Western Bulldogs one, but I think choose Scott Pendlebury for disposals. Yeah, so because I have a match, I have a tournament this, uh, this weekend. Yeah, it'll happen think- next week. Basically. Next week. So I'm just going to do whoever like, gets the most disposals in the Western Bulldogs. You're going to do that? Is that how many 100 meter sprints I'm going to do? Whoever gets the most amount of goals is how many... Um, court sprints? Court in sprints. Ten, in multiples someone, of 10? Yeah, but someone gets three. <laughs> right? If someone gets three, that's just 30 court sprints, right? It's not really much. Yeah. So whoever's got the second... Uh, so if someone below gets two... You'd add them together. No, that would be two sets of three. Wait, what? If someone below gets three? If no, someone no. gets three and someone gets two, you're going to do... So I'm going to do three. Yeah. So that's how many reps, and then the two will be the set, so two sets oh, of two, three. Oh, two sets of 30 reps. Yeah. What if someone got, like, five goals, and the person after them got three goals? So five or higher, I'm just doing that. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. D- but did you want to do a collective punishment? Like the 20... If... Because Scott Penelbury is going for 29 disposals, right? Yeah. Like he's going for it, right? I'm gunning for him to hit 30. <clears throat> the Canapis finished me, my sure. thing. So, um, and whoever does the most amount of runs, like the most amount of kilometers in the match for the Bulldogs, is I'm going to try and do that on an hour on the treadmill because apparently... Treadmill stop after an hour, <laughs> and then the rest on bike. That's where you need to have like an assistant to get the second treadmill running, <laughs> so you can just transition. <laughs> Anyways, oh, that's holding the, the man. And then the rest will be on um, on bike. Because, oh, pardon me. You know. Oh, fair enough. Um, did you want to do one? Together, like we do it together. Okay. So I think we, if we do Scotty Pendlebury and maybe do like an ab workout, like I don't know, um, leg raises. Leg raises. Yeah. Maybe we could do leg raises, or what else could we do? Like it's like a thing that like we do a hello hold, but like you have like a weight and you try to. Okay. Like sort of lift it, and then. Yeah. Back. That's kind of a cool, one. and it makes my abs shake. <laughs> Anything with a hollow hold is always yeah tough. 
I guess we could also do maybe like um like if we're in the gym we could do um I probably wouldn't want to do squats like three reps of ten squats would like you'd do it but like you'd you'd be praying that like um that Scotty was getting like at he was getting bang on thirty do you know what I mean? if he gets thirty then it'd just be like thirty reps of one exercise like full out no reps no 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 like uh, rest in between yeah so no breaking it down to three sets of mm. okay all right so we could do like push ups we could do abs. I can't do thirty push ups I know that's the only thing like I know that you struggle with push ups so yeah we could do like an ab exercise we could do, we could do curls. No, not curls, you don't like But like that. I said, the hollow hold with the weights, and then you... That does work. Okay. Alright, what else is there? What else could we do? I don't mind the idea, I'm just trying to think of all the options we have. I don't really fancy the idea of doing a bench press, that would suck. We'd probably die. <laughs> well, we could do like assisted, uh... Pull-ups. Could do a... Yeah... What else is there? But like I had to do it on like a, I had to take a lot of weight off though. Do you know what I mean? I oh, know to do thirty continuous reps. Yeah. Would, yeah, that would be brutal. Um. So what else? I'm just trying to think of all the other exercises we could do. Do you know what I mean? Bulgarian split squats. Like, well, like what would that be? Thirty each leg. That would be brutal. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I reckon we'll con- consider, like, a split squat thing or, like, I feel like it either has to be abs or legs related. Do you know what I mean? Like, your legs are going to sustain 30 reps better, I think, than, like, anything else. Like okay. You... Well, I mean, I'm here to die, so, like, I really don't care. Exactly. So that's why it's a punishment game, right? Um, or oh, deadlifts. 30 reps of deadlifts. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yes. Continuous deadlift reps. Yeah, I just do a lot of weight. Oh my god. I'm not this... full. Like, I'm not doing 100 kilos. I don't think reps. there's any purpose in doing that then. I oh, know. You'd, you'd have to do it so that the bar never touches the ground again, right? Mm. And to some extent, you're meant to do that. But if, you know, if you're doing like... If you're doing over 100 kilos on a deadlift, it's unrealistic to not drop the weight. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like for me, I'd probably just do, like, on a normal bar. Yeah. I get for, like, 50 is sort of my limit. Yeah. I can do about six reps. Yeah. I know, if I was on a normal bar, I'd probably, if I was doing, I could probably do maybe a good Hundred to one ten maybe. Yeah, but on a hex bar, like, I feel like fifty would be perfect for me. On a hex bar, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you kind of have that semi-stabilized advantage, right? Like mm. the weight's already at your side; it's not out in front. So yeah, so I think we do hex bar. Yeah. Oh, we normally do on a normal bar. Thirty. What we normally do. Yeah. Because I normally use my max on the deadlift. Okay, we're well, doing a bit do, less than that. But I do need to start actually going for reps on my deadlift, so I, I tend to max out, which is naughty. <laughs> yeah. Because the issue is, if you if you keep trying to max out, you actually don't get the gains. You actually do need to do reps to get the gains. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. I know. But I'm all after the ego. <laughs> you need to stop doing that. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I've really got anything else to add. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just, I think, I think my, oh, do you want to do weekly picks? If you want, it's already I, long, it's uh, so, uh, such a long. I know, it's much longer than I would have liked it's to have so been. so long. I know. At least it's not as long as what we normally do, but we'll just okay, conclude. Okay, no, but it's still too long. I know, we'll conclude with our weekly picks. Um, I've already done mine for sports bet. You have. So I did good last round. I got five out of eight out of my comps. How, I, how did I do? I bombed so bad last round. I had what I I did. <laughs> I got five. George got four. You got three. I got three. I my s- margin is eleven. Yours is seven. 
for the round, yeah, I know. I, I, I won the ma- margin. I'm happy about that. Okay, well, you won something. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it was it was a crazy round. It was all underdogs. All underdogs. Like, the first few rounds, I don't really care. It's, like, are very unpredictable. But anyway, let's go. First game, Adelaide Oval, Adelaide or Melbourne. Are you doing yours on... I'm doing Sporting Globe tipping. I'm doing sports bet. Oh, okay. I'm doing mine for Sporting Globe. Um... This is a tough one for me, but I'm probably going to go... Melbourne. I think I'm going to go Melbourne. Uh, Brisbane or Melbourne? So North Melbourne. Brisbane or North Melbourne? I'm going to go... You're going to have to go Brisbane, right? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going Brisbane over North Melbourne. So put Adelaide or Essendon? It's tough, but Essendon are on fraud watch. Um, <laughs> if you know the tier list, you know exactly what we're talking about. Um, lol. Yeah, West West Coast Eagles are lol. Um, we really expect them to be the uh, LMFAO now. L- LMF- <laughs> they're going to be LMFAO by the end of round four. Yeah, they just update their tier list. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going. I'm going to go Port, um, especially since Port are coming off a bit of a crazy loss. Um, okay, fair, fair enough. So yeah, uh, again, West Coast or Sydney? Uh, Sydney. LMFAO. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Carlton over Frio I'm going to take. It's yeah, a bit of a toss-up for me. Frio. I'm going to go. I do like Frio. Who, what did the experts say? Like, Carlton to go 5-0. and oh. Is that what they said? Someone said about Carlton. They wanted Carlton. They're saying, oh, Carlton's going to go 5-0. and oh. oh, I don't know that one. Something like that. Yeah, you know that. I can't remember that. You don't then. remember it, but yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to go for Carlton just for that. Yeah. Uh, Bulldogs and, and for Chris to do another half a marathon. What? And for Chris to do another half a marathon. Chris. Crisp. Oh, Chris. Crip. Cripper. You, you, you just. So I don't you, understand. Do you, are you saying crisp or crips? Because <laughs> it's crips. I know. <laughs> I swear you were saying crisp. No. Um, and then Bulldogs or Geelong. It is like... a tough one, but I have to go Geelong. Unfortunately, like. Like, Tomahawk is just so good. He's not going to be as good on the weekend, Can though. we make a new rule? What? We have to always go for our team. We have to always go for our team? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Are we going to apply that now for future rounds? No. Now? All right, Essendon. Do I, does that include me going for Bulldogs? No, you can go for Geelong. Oh, okay. You just have to go for Bulldogs. Yeah. All right. Oh, fuck. No, I'm going to lose to Port. I'm losing to Port. You know what? I'll tip him, but I'm going to bet on Port. <laughs> okay, you can bet on every... I don't care what you bet on. It's your money. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Gold Coast or GWS? Uh, I think GWS. The, I think it's closer than what people might be thinking, but I will go GWS. Okay, do you want Richmond or Saints? I'm taking Saints. Easy. Mm-hmm. Coming off a loss, they're a good team. They're going to win. And Pies over Hawthorne. I'm going Richmond. You gonna go Richmond? Mm. Wow! First win under what's his name? I can't even remember the head coach. I don't name. know. I don't care. It's like Zuri something. <coughs> Isri. Anyways, last game: Collingwood or Hawthorne? Collingwood. Yeah, I'm easily taking Collingwood. By how much? I'm gonna go by thirty-one. Really? I think I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna go about like forty-eight. I reckon. Okay, I'll go, I'll go thirty-seven. Submitted tips. Cool. My odds are fifty points fifty-seven. Uh, fifty fifty point what? Five seven. Oh my goodness! Hang on, let me. Uh, I'm gonna update my update. 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 I'm gonna update. I'm gonna update. <laughs> I'm gonna update mine to include Essendon. Jesus Christ. My tips. My tips. I need to edit to choose. Oh, fuck's sake. Essendon. Oh, no. I gave Collingwood 52 points. Sorry. <laughs> oh. 48, 52. It's like the same thing. Um, mine are 47, 29. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you've told me to take Essendon. They are not winning. <laughs> um... But yeah, I really like Collingwood. Like, like it's Scotty Scotty Fowlery is 
getting 30 disposals. That's my most favorite bet of the week. So anyone listening, put put um, Scotty Pendlebury for 30 disposals in your multis, whatever they may be. Okay. It, it's going to be a surefire tick. Is it it for this week? For I this think, episode? For yeah. this, I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm happy with this. Do you, yeah. do you have anything else to add, babe? Nah. It's nah? just West Coast is on a 64-year plan. <laughs> <laughs> As in a hundred and sixty four year plan. <laughs> yeah. That'll be great someday, just up the century. N- yeah, n- no, definitely not. Um Look there I think they actually will they'll be alright when Oscar Allen comes back. They just need more more key forwards. But it's not happening for not at my least problem. another five weeks. So yeah. Um not my problem. <laughs> uh, the Bulldogs. That's my problem. <laughs> I go for Essen and that's my problem. <laughs> yep. But I don't care about any other team. It's not my problem. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so with that being said, Maria does have a tournament this weekend in Ballarat for squash. Um, and yeah, I think things are looking really good. Um, training the other day looked fantastic. Which was kind of crazy because I didn't really do much training the week before because I was... One, sick, and two, I had my first communion, so there was a little church happening. Yeah. And it's like, um, so like, we like to, especially for like, Easter vigil, which is like, this, um, like, Easter Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like to fast, so, um, as Catholics. Um. Or on the day, like the Saturday? Like before church, like at least an hour before church. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know, I didn't know that. I just thought you kind of like missed out on your meal. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> but yeah, no, we, um, <clears throat> and, and that, that church service took about three hours, basically. So, um, like, you know what I mean? So I was just more focused on getting on the, on going to church, relaxing, and then like, you know, going to church again, and then come back <laughs> home, sleep, wake up next day, church. Go home, you know what I mean? So, like... Nah, fair enough. I didn't do a lot of training, and then, you know, I sort of... We did cross courts, and then I was like, yeah, no, that felt good. Mm. Cross courts are my best shot. Yeah. It looked like you were also working on some, like, holding... Deception, fam. Deception yeah, techniques as well, which was good. It always works. Deception is key. It is key. It is key. Keep them guessing. Um, exactly. So yeah, no. Look, that was a throw and a half. Sorry, we've got the Port Adelaide Melbourne game. Have you game. seen Libertura? Yeah, honestly, that was honestly just a throw. That was like, <laughs> that's all it was. <laughs> anyway, so it's it for us for this episode. Yeah, week, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think so. Um, we probably will try and maybe squeeze like a a squash special segment in um, in the week to come. Okay. I don't know if it'll be before our next podcast episode or if it'll be. Um, after. It'll probably be after. I imagine it'll probably be after. We'll try, probably, try and... Pa, da, 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 I'm having a stroke. Da, da, da. Um, we'll probably try and squeeze it in after. Sorry, we'll try and squeeze the podcast in shortly after the tournament over the weekend. Um, I'm in Division 3 because I was the only person to enter Women's Open and no one else has entered. I know. I just feel like Ballarat doesn't really get a good, good crowd for the like Women's not Open. Many people want to travel that. It is a bit of a hike, it really is, and it's like it's it's kind of a bit unfortunate, but I hopefully, feel like, I feel like normally, I remember one weekend they had the Ballarat Open, the same weekend Bulldogs were playing there mm. at Mar Stadium, and the same weekend they had they had the Melbourne Vixens at the preseason in Ballarat, so trying to find accommodation, <laughs> yeah, yeah, was yeah. awful, yeah. Uh, agreed. And I was there for the Vixens that time. So <laughs> I really just want to spend time with mum, right? Nah, no, fair enough. It's like sometimes fun family does come before sports. Yeah. All good. Anyways, like I said, um, stay tuned. We'll probably have a few episodes coming out quite quite regularly um, in the week yeah. to come. We'll see if we can run uh, 80 kilometers per hour. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, until then, uh, we will, we will just mosey on at our 
comfortable 15k an hour max. <laughs> um, stay tuned to see how we get along with our top speed. Yeah. 